After watching this video, you'll turn that into this. But first off, this is how I propagate to get the most out of it. What's the name of this rootstock? It's a blue boy cactus with scientific name shown on the screen. Myrtilio cactus geometrizans. I'm gonna pot this individually so I can graft while the other half we will propagate as rootstock. Before planting, air dry for a week to develop hard callus and also to avoid rot. In just 5 months, you'll double your rootstock. You can cut half of this and use for your grafting. This time, I'm gonna use a sulfur powder that can help callus fast and avoid rot. After a week, pot it, and after a month, it's ready for grafting. You can again harvest these pups for grafting. Make sure to feed your plant with fertilizers to keep them healthy. Before we go to our top list, let me show you some of my rootstock propagation. Here they are. Another tip to keep them healthy is to have a fast draining soil. I'm watering now. Look at the bottom. The water drains fast down the hole. Why is it the best? Here's our top 6 reasons why this is the best moon cactus rootstock. At number 6 on our list, Easy grafting. Unlike a dragon fruit cactus that has a hard stick in the middle, you'll have a hard time cutting that. This cactus has a soft body, which means you can do a clean cut effortlessly. I usually just take about 4 inches or 10 centimeters of cutting, dry it for a few days, plant, and graft. At number 5 on our list, grows rapidly. This cactus grow rapidly. It can grow up to 5 meters high. Though we don't want that, but we can say that moon cactus when grafted on top of this will benefit on its fast growth rate. It can supply all the nutrients the scion needs. Look at this cutting. In just roughly 5 months, you can cut them again to create another rootstock. That brings us to our top 4 reasons why Blue Boy Cactus is the best moon cactus rootstock. Grows the scion faster. Have you ever tried grafting on a fast growing rootstock? Blue Boy Cactus can give you the same result. In just few months, you'll see your moon cactus growing pups. Besides growing pups, at top 3 on our list, lives longer. This rootstock lives longer than a moon cactus on a Pereskayopsis. Unlike a micrografting on a Pereskayopsis, it only lives for a year or so. Micrografting is simply grafting of a small moon cactus pup with a rootstock mostly on Pereskayopsis. At number 2 on our list, Easy to regraft. The top part is the scion, while the rootstock is the bottom part. As most of us know, when cactus will eventually die when the rootstock outgrows the scion or vice versa. And when this happens, it's not the end of your moon cactus, as long as you graft it again. Unlike a dragon fruit cactus rootstock that will grow a hard stick at the center, if you regraft that and you're a newbie, I assure you, you'll fail 100%. But since this is a soft rootstock, easy to cut, then you can also easily regraft this onto another blue boy rootstock. You'll then enjoy your moon cactus for years to come. At number one on our list, 
very small prickles. See this rootstock? I don't want to hold these, especially when I'm grafting a moon cactus. You are forced to use rubber bands, which can get too tight and smash your cyan. And these are the 6 reasons why Blue Boy Cactus is the best rootstock ever. If you wanna see how I craft a moon cactus, check out this next video.